Have you ever wondered what it feels like to pour your heart and soul into YouTube for years, only to be met with little to no feedbacks? I've got the gears, the skills, and the passion, but the views, they are not so much, you know. I even got my first YouTube pay this January after six years and trust me it was just 97 dollars that is after all the charges the tax and all of that good stuff and you know the most funniest part from that january till now which is june 2024 i haven't even hit 50 dollars in total yet so stick around with me as i reveal the harsh reality of being an old youtuber with zero engagement and how you can also help me to turn things around Hey guys, what's up, Pokemon Wish Popping? How you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time stopping by, hey, my name is Susan Adike. I'm a food, lifestyle, and travel vlogger currently based in Lagos State, Nigeria. Please don't make it your last. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification by the side so you could always get notified when I post a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing something that has been on my mind for a while now. Trust me, this is the second time I am making this video. Anyways, we are diving into the harsh reality of being an old YouTuber with zero engagement. So if you're a fellow content creator or you're just curious about the behind the scenes struggles of every YouTuber, then this video is for you. So let's just get into it immediately. First of all, I'm going to give you guys a bit of a background story. So I started off my YouTube back in 2016 when i was studying in boha university china initially i was really really excited about it you know being a travel vlogger sharing my adventures my experience as a black girl studying in china but here is the thing being in china kind of affected the growth of my channel don't get it twisted i'm gonna explain china somehow have this unique internet landscape with a lot of restrictions on various platforms including youtube this kind of made it a bit challenging for me or for my video to reach a wider audience also to grow my channel organically despite all of these hurdles i kept pushing forward in my head i was hoping that when i come back to nigeria things were going to you know make a difference right don't get me wrong babes there are a lot of youtubers in china that made it over there in china at least i know of somebody we have the most popular the most biggest Ghanaian YouTuber, Wodemaya, he started in China and I was also in China as at that time. But you know how algorithm works, right? So now let's talk about the most challenging part of being a YouTuber. I'm a travel vlogger as you know or maybe not if this is your first time here. So imagine me working so hard on a particular video. I put in so much energy booking my flight or paying for the transport to and fro, planning, shooting, and then I spend hours and sometimes I spend days editing a video only to upload this video and I'm getting less than 50 views in 24 hours. Not only in 24 hours, sometimes I get less than 50 views for like days. Now, don't get me wrong, right? I genuinely and sincerely appreciate every single person that has been watching my video from very beginning and everyone that has watched my video till date, every single person that has been consistent on my channel, I really, really appreciate every single one of you. For someone that has been consistently posting on YouTube for the past six years, I know you'll be doing the math, six years, but I'm saying 2016, yes. That is because I used to have a previous channel, Suzy's Diary, which I started in 2016 and, you know, 2018, something happened and I had to delete the channel. So 2018 was when I created this particular channel. So basically, in total, I've been on YouTube for eight years. So for someone that has consistently been posting for years, creating content for years, and then getting little to no views, it's really heartbreaking, you know. And then I see a lot of new YouTubers complaining about not getting the views because they lack the gears or they lack the tripod or they lack good lighting or they lack good mic or they lack good phone or they lack good camera like baby boy, baby girl. One thing people don't know is you don't necessarily need all of these things before you can actually put out your content or have the engagement or have the views or have the massive audience you don't necessarily need all of this thing here's the kicker i have 
all of these things, every single thing you think any YouTuber needs in their life, I have it. Is it the tripod? I have two to three tripods. Is it the good light? I have two lights and I have a soft box inside. Is it the mic? Most times I use my phone for mic and I also have a good camera and I also have one more camera inside. Oh, is it the space? <laughs> I have. I have all of that. I have every single thing. And I also have two terabytes flash drive inside. I invested in my gears. I invested in my lighting. I invested in cameras. I invested in mic. I invested in all of that. I even have a particular mic that is coming from China that I just got. I invested in all of these things, hoping that it was going to improve my content and attract more viewers. But yet, I still lack the views. Another fun part, I've also invested in seminars. I've gone to classes. I've gone to events. I've gone to hangouts. I've gone to a lot of creative hangouts, a lot of creative seminars, a lot of Oh God, Jesus. I have done everything possible just so I could learn and improve to get this engagement. I've always had this mindset that if I invest in my knowledge, if I invest in my gears, if I invest in my skills, it was somewhat going to help me, you know, and just make a difference. But quite unfortunately, it has not even helped that much. So yes, at this point, I am reaching out to you yes you my viewers for help please do me a favor kindly go through my channel you can you know come back to this video and just drop me a honest feedback honest review what you think i am lacking what you think i've been doing wrong what you think i need to do to improve my engagement just tell me what you think is the fault so that i can improve I am really willing to learn from you guys right now. Rather than buying courses, attending seminars, buying gears, investing in all of these things that don't even seem to make any difference, your feedback is going to mean the world to me right now. So yeah, besties, that is the harsh reality of being an old YouTuber with zero engagement. It is a tough journey. Trust me, it is a tough journey. I. I honestly don't even know why I haven't given up because someone like me that gets so tired of things very, very quick. It just means that I have this passion for creating content and I really want to make it through this process. So yeah, I am not giving up. Not now. Obviously, not now. It's been years. I can't give up now. So your feedback and your support will mean the world to me right now. I have over 4,000 subscribers and it's more or less like they are not even watching my content. So please, let's grow together and make this channel a community where we can learn and support each other. I scroll through my YouTube these days and I see a lot of small YouTubers with less than 500 subscribers and they are getting massive views. I really envy you guys at this point, but I really don't know what exactly I am doing wrong. So please, please, and please drop in the comment section what you think I am doing wrong. And as a small YouTuber, don't let anybody oppress you. Don't let anything you see on social media deceive you. Some of us are going through it. Some of us have everything you could think of and we still have less views. I have a lot of people that actually think that I am making millions on YouTube. Probably millions is not the right word, but I have a lot of people that actually think that I have, like I make monthly income from YouTube. Meanwhile, I don't. I've only gotten paid once since eight years of being on YouTube, just one time. And that's just $97, which took me weeks to actually get it because i created this channel in china like i mentioned so it kind of affected the whole i had to deal with chinese banks and all of that but thankfully i was able to sort all of that right now regardless please and please any way you think you can support this channel i would really appreciate even if it means you posting on your community for me trying to share the links and all of that i would really really appreciate it if youtube was my only hustle you know the funny thing i would have given up 
I did not really see YouTube as a hustle. That's the thing. I did not really see it as a hustle. But right now, I can't be putting in all this energy and not getting anything in return. It is not nice and it's kind of affecting me mentally. So please and please, I am begging you guys one more time. Please, anything you can do to support this channel, it will mean the world to me. Consistency, good gears, good lighting, all of this does not equate engagement. This is all I have to say to small YouTubers that think or they are trying to feed their head with so many things. Don't put pressure on yourself, my darling. Don't. With that being said, I hope you guys understand and realize that not all YouTubers are making millions on YouTube. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this or, you know, try to understand my point of view. With that being said, I'll see you guys in my next one. Always remember to love what you do, do what you love. Be yourself, love yourself, and believe in yourself. I remain your favorite baby girl, Susan Adike, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Hi, Nimen.